Hi everyone, I'm Susan Jacob and this is the first post-operative day appearance of a patient who underwent intralace with a 100 micron flap and you can see these visually significant flap macrostri which are straddling her pupillary axis and uh, she did have visual symptoms with glare and uh, decreased visual acuity. So what I'm doing here is uh, straightening out these stri very carefully uh, uh, separating the flap making sure not to get any epithelial defects and uh, I also lift up the flap as far as the area of stri are. I next take a moist vexil and uh, try to straighten out the fry with the moist vexil and then uh, stretch it out and flatten it out with a blunt rod. It's important to uh, stretch it out as much as possible and here you can see I've taken two vexils and I'm actually pulling it to the opposite direction in an attempt to stretch out those macrostri. It is important to treat macrostri as early as possible always because the more you let it uh, remain uh, the more it sets into place and the more resistant it becomes to treatment. You can see that uh, the stri are much less now than they were at the beginning of surgery. Stri that do not respond to this treatment may require a debridement of the epithelium followed by stretching. Late stri may even require suturing or the uh, ironing technique as described by Donenfeld et al. or uh, the phototherapeutic keratectomy technique which has been described by Steinert. This was the post-operative day 1 appearance of the patient with complete resolution of the stri as well as the symptoms and a visual acuity of 6x6. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.